morning. Good morning. And as Kathy mentioned, my name is Tara Morris. I am the executive director of Minority Health Coalition of Elkhart County and a split role with our state office, Indiana Minority Health Coalition. Uh, one of the things that some of you that know me, raise your hand, have seen me in action, our staff, or have volunteered and worked with us on many different occasions. So uh, just to get started, we go back, like Kathy said, about 17, 18 years. We're not gonna tell our age. But, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> but um, to start, when we think about our overall health and when we think about our community as we continue to serve it over the years, for Minority Health Coalition, it'll be um, 30 years, 2024. And when I think about our overall reach, and it's for all people, when we look at health equity, but health for every individual that walks and breathes not just here in Elkhart, but throughout the world and then throughout our state of Indiana. Our uh, addressing those disparities, when we think about it, we follow the state uh, guidelines as we move forward. And our priority this year is heart disease, diabetes, mental health, maternal, and infant mortality as well, moving forward. And one of the key things that we have always addressed over the years is early childhood education. And um, educating the parent and empowering them to take care of themselves, being able to link them to any necessary resources that are out there that they may not be aware. But in doing so, just like Head Start, building that strong partnership to ensure the fact that our families get what they need and point them in the right direction. And over the years, we have seen such a great impact just in Elkhart County alone and throughout the state and our country. And especially when we think about overall health care for anyone, anyone, no matter who you are or where you come from, that was a great, great move where we are when we think about health care as a whole, especially Indiana. Indiana's um, Healthy Indiana Plan serves so many families and uh, single individuals in need of health care. We took that role of rolling that out years ago when that plan came up and we have seen it improve some just overwhelming improvement and I'm hoping that even if you have a job and you cannot afford health insurance you can apply for the Healthy Indiana Plan. That was one of our main goals moving forward when we first started back in 1994. Moving forward, making sure that our families get what they need in the way of education and empowering them in many different aspects. And we move along right around with our right along with our legislators as this movement took place and addressing policies that had anything and everything to do with health care. And as well as building partnerships locally, not just city, but countywide and sometimes just crossing the county line because that's what we all should do when we're actually in the uh, position of speaking or being the voice for our local community. And as Kathy um, um, alluded to, we operate with a board of nine in our local coalition. And there are 22 coalitions throughout the state of Indiana that actually do the same work that we do here in Elkhart County. Now we do have two local coalitions, um, can't even just count the number of partnerships that we have built along the way, but building those partnerships help us to close that gap as much as we can as we move forward to make sure every individual is in the know, because this is just one of the lacking things, just being in the know, because you'll be amazed at how many people don't know or where to go. So just being that link, we went from a link, we went to a navigator, and now we're dealing with a new term of community health workers. But those help us to get the message out and to complete our overall tasks moving forward. So one of our main programs is to share with you when we look at chronic disease, and chronic disease self-management for everyone, and not just the adult, but as well as the family as a whole, because that's what we need. And I think one of the crucial things that on, that's on our plate right now is addressing, you may have uh, seen it in the news as well, we still target 
the need to reduce tobacco rates in our, not just the state, all over. The other one thinking about that's on our plate that we're addressing is sickle cell anemia and what where it is today because it doesn't just affect blacks. It affects anybody that's of Asian descent. And Islanders as well because we have a lot of individuals coming into just Elkhart County along Allen County, um, Lake County, uh, through South Bend that may be affected by sickle cell and don't know where to go to actually get tested for sickle cell. And even the issues surrounding where we are standing today as we continue to move on, everybody can agree COVID has not gone anywhere. It is still here. We just got to address all three. And that is the respiratory virus as well as the flu. And there are avenues to take this if you are willing to or if you need more information. There's always information out there. But I go back and say when we think about health disparity, it comes in many different facets. But we at least, even with you guys going into homes, trying to educate families that you're educating their children to continue to do so. And sometimes we got to hold back on our own personal opinion because that information that's out there helps that family. And as we continue to move forth with the different programs that we offer, and, and uh, Kathy and Head Start has supported us along the way, when you think about families, um, just to list some is our annual health fair in back to school. And that's done in the month of August this year. Our community baby shower, shower your baby with love in the month of June. And as well as we deal with the barbershop health initiative to address men because who is the last one to go to the doctor? Men. Who is the one study trying to maneuver? Uh-uh, y'all got that wrong. <laughs> Listen, if it wasn't for the women in their life, <laughs> would they get there? And as they use the word, we nag, 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 because why? We want them to have a healthy and wonderful life. But that's why we do the barbershop initiative across the board. Doesn't matter who you are or where you came from. And with the baby short shower across the board, it doesn't matter. And all of our events and programs are totally free to the public. Totally free. And I see one, maybe two, that have actually worked with us on our events. And those that are here, why don't you stand? <laughs> Come on, I'm not going to call you out. Come on. I see one more person back there. <laughs> But when we, when we see these volunteers, we think about it within ourselves. We're always looking for volunteers. And we're there to inform and direct and train as a volunteer for Minority Health Coalition. So if you ever want a place to go to help out, you know, just give us a call or look up our website to find out wh where we are and what we're doing. And if you need link for other referrals, which we have many, we just can't throw them out there. You know, we just say we refer. So you call our office and whatever it is your need is, we will do that. And we have many partners back that provide any type of screenings for individuals to get them what they need. So just building that wonderful partnership with Kathy and you guys that have been there for us, doing, uh, making sure that we get individuals served and taken care of and we just don't, we follow up as well. You have to follow up because many times families, things, they have all these challenges around them. And you guys are the key, key individuals in their lives to make sure they connect with these different services that are available no matter what. So if you have any questions for me, I am so open to answer any question you may have. Well, I appreciate your attention. I appreciate Kathy's invite. But again, Minority Health Coalition, just look us up. <laughs>
and we'll serve you in any way we can.